Hello everyone, Hitstown USA here, or you can call me Phil, whatever you like. I had a request on my channel comments page from Mark NC about posting collection videos of my promotional records. Since I have like so many of them, I decided to just fish out the ones that are my favorite. Not necessarily my favorite songs, but the record itself whether it's a high value record uh, comes with a promo only pick sleeve or title sleeve colored wax uh, one-siders um, I didn't dig out all the colored wax because it'll get monotonous just showing you colored wax all day through this video but I will I did fish out a few so let's start uh, this one here is the OJ's I love music. What's interesting about this promo is it's the long disco version and it runs at 33 and a third RPM. This is before the 12 inch single came out and labels were uh, including these longer versions on 7 inch singles but the uh, the sonic reproduction of a uh, near seven minute song on a seven inch single uh, was not up to par so they uh, that's why the 12 inch single came around but this is one of the uh, reasons why we got a 12 inch single were songs like this cut on a seven inch yes so it's a 33 and a third rpm speed with a, a standard 45 uh, cutout center hole uh, Led Zeppelin uh, their stuff is pretty expensive. Their promos are, are um, yeah, definitely expensive. This one here is a really cool one because I've seen some promos which actually have a different, uh, which, which is a two-sider. This one here actually is a one-sider. The uh, it's blank on this side, even though there's some uh, there's something cut on here. I haven't even played this side. It's probably like audio, like a tone, like a beat tone. I've I've played a couple that I have and they. They have like a beep tone on them, but yes, this is a one-sider. This is Stereo, the Immigrant Song. Stand by while I put this back in the sleeve. I don't want to have to do this later. Okay. Another Led Zeppelin. I've uploaded some of these on my channel over the years, um, but when I was in copyright trouble last year, I had to delete all these videos. And some of them were not even filmed in HD, so... Um, I guess it was kind of a blessing in disguise anyway. Uh, this is a short version. This version here was a promotional only edit running 315 um, in mono. Flip side is a long version also in mono. There's another Led Zeppelin somewhere. I'm sorry I don't have these all organized out. A number nine dream, John Lennon. When you start to get to the Apple promos, um, and uh, members of the Beatles doing their solo work, they can get kind of pricey too. This one here is about a good 20, 25 bucks. Uh, number nine, Dream, mono, stereo. And this one here, folks, has been pretty hacked up. This was a radio station edit, two minutes and 58 seconds. Of course, John Lennon was such a superstar. I think that even if they would have used the regular full length single version, for that song for airplay it wouldn't have mattered I don't know why they did that for up-and-coming artists I get it but for uh, an established artist it makes no sense uh, this is a John Lennon test pressing whatever gets you through the night uh, I think it's maybe mono on the other side this is mirrors the promo 45 um, but this one here is, a, is really expensive actually because it's a test pressing of John Lennon, it's a number one record, so that's a big collectible. Um, a whole lot of love, Led Zeppelin. This one here also has a shorter version. I don't know if you can see the timing on there, it says 312, which radio stations, top 40 stations, played anyway when the record was current. And then this has the standard 45 single version running 533. Okay, this one here. The record by itself is pretty expensive. 
um, ABC Jackson 5. However, that came with a promo only title sleeve. And this record was um, reserviced when the song was still current on the charts. The, the record, I guess, was the fastest selling record on Motown to reach gold status. Um, so what they did was they reserviced this out to radio stations because they said that maybe their grooves were worn out on the first standard black vinyl promos that were sent to radio stations. Uh, this sleeve is really, really hard to find, folks. And with the gold Motown, it really makes it a nice collectible. The Love You Save Jackson 5. This is a single-sided 45 promo. One of their big hits. This one here is on red uh, red vinyl and uh, this one here is also pretty pricey too I guess it's because it's the first single that was big and it's on red vinyl um, really cool collectible it's the same song on both sides this one has felt writing on the back but hey I can play the clean side so <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> okay this one here is really weird um, thanks to all the program and music directors from Olivia Newton John and MCA Records for your total support of A Little More Love. Now let Olivia take you deeper than the night. Her new single, It Can Only Bring Us Closer. P.S. Olivia's picture disc is for you to look at, the other is for you to play. Now, why do they say that? This picture disc was mastered like way off speed. When you play this, it sounds like the chipmunks. It really. I mean, it, it, I guess if I turn the pitch all the way down on my turntable, it may sound listenable, but this is unplayable at the correct speed. And that's why they gave you an actual promo 45 to go with it. This was the on-air play copy. Why didn't they just master it the right speed? It would be kind of cool to play a picture disc. You know what I mean? Whatever. Uh, Paul McCartney, Another Day. This is a pricey one as well um, because this was cut in mono and retail copies were in stereo. Like I said, Apple, a uh, member of the Beatles, a promo is just going to be pretty expensive off the bat, but when you add in that it was a mono uh, recording, then it just takes it to another level. Um, Todd Rudgren, I Saw the Light. This is on Blue Wax. Uh, Pink Floyd, I actually uploaded this not too long ago, uh, Money. Uh, this is a EP, 7-inch EP in mono, both sides, that was serviced to radio, and it comes with a cool picture title sleeve. And it says Pink Floyd's latest number one album, Dark Side of the Moon, went platinum a few months after release with smash sales surpassing three times those of a standard gold album. Here are four representative selections taken from the Dark Side of the Moon LP edited down for your airplay convenience. So these are stripped down edits. And as you can see, those are the titles which are included on the uh, 45. Really cool. Bear with me, folks. I'll put this back here. Okay. Uh, this here, I wouldn't say this is a test pressing, but at an advanced promo. This was cut at Monarch uh, Pressing Plant. Well, pressed it. Monarch Pressing Plant, and um, they rushed this out fast. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a generic label. It's not a bootleg. It's an official pressing on Atco Records. And BG's is all one, one word here. It's usually that's separated B and then G's, but here it was just all one word. How can you mend a broken heart? And the flip side is a one-sider. So yeah, this was a rush release. This here is another one that can get a little expensive. Layla, Derek and the Dominoes. 
this record was, this is the original promo from 1971, and it's the short version on both sides, running 243, stereo and mono. Uh, the record was re-released a year later with the full longer version, which was actually the one that's people mostly hear today. And it's the one that's just most favorable by listeners because it has the, uh, the long um, guitar at the end. This one doesn't. The doors, their promos are kind of expensive, especially when they're clean and minty. I uh, love her madly. Uh, what's on the other side is... You need meat, don't go no further. So this has the different B-side like the stock release. Riders on the Storm, the doors, and these are in stereo. They're both cut in stereo, actually. War, Edwin Starr. This is a red vinyl promo. Same song cut on both sides. This one I just uploaded a couple weeks ago. Uh, this one here, um, was a resurface and it came with a promo only title sleeve which is pretty scarce this one also I recently uploaded promo for I'm not in love by 10cc this title sleeve is extremely hard to find I waited years for this to finally surface up and I snagged it um, forty dollars but it was well worth it to me because the reason why is this sleeve is like really paper thin um it's i mean it's like paper i mean it's very very fragile so i guess maybe a lot of them haven't survived over the years but this is how it looked when it first went to top 40 radio stations in the sleeve The Undisputed Truth, Smiling Faces Sometimes, this is also a Red Wax promo, same track on both sides. The Who, Squeeze Box. Uh, this one here is a good $35 to a $50 record depending on condition and seller. Uh, this sleeve here was promotional only, so when you bought this record at your local record shop back in the day it came in a regular standard company MCA sleeve and if you look closely you can connect the dots <laughs> to fill it in but uh, hey I'm not going to do that no way. Uh, Paul McCartney and Wings I uploaded this one to the stereo side like a couple weeks ago um, this one here is a bit expensive it has a shorter edit um, and on the run and this edit's actually quite good compared to Jet, which was a hack job. Final one. Roundabout. Yes. Now the label looks like a stock label, but for some reason Atlantic actually um, used their stock label for this promo. I guess maybe it looked better with gold wax. The gold wax was also promo only. Um, I believe the stock copies were mono. But this one has uh, mono stereo. Well, that's it for my 70s. And um, I'll do one for the 60s and then one for the 80s. And then eventually the 12-inch singles. But thanks for watching.